Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Now that the birthday party is settling down a little bit, we're really starting to take notice of all the damage that it has done to prices on the FC24 market. Guys, this content has caused a lot of people to go and sell cards from their teams. I want to talk about those prices dropping. Will they rise back up or is it just down even further from here? And the popular upgrade we are waiting for with Showdowns has just happened. I'm going to look at the brand new upgraded Felix card and talk about what's coming on a Tuesday of Ultimate Team today. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's go over the Showdown SBCs that we had yesterday. That was a weird thing to see once again during this promo. Showdown SBCs were last week, right? We have yet again another Showdown matchup as a part of our content yesterday on Monday. It's for the Super League, Women's Super League matchup between Manchester City and Manchester United. You've got Lila Ohabi and you've got Nikita Paris. I think this Paris card could actually look pretty cracked if man you win this game five star skills four star weak foot very pacey can also play striker uh, the play styles are very good for ball control um, nothing really else no passing other than whipped pass the price here is pretty cheap so if these are interesting to you 114k for paris and 55k for ohabi if you want to get these done you absolutely can for a pretty low price and easy craft now the other sbc yesterday was our daily sbc release Four foot birthday. What a dynamic image that was messed up there for Quadrado. It still is. This is our SBC. And man, this card is like one or two things away from being really, really good. You've got the whipped pass and the slide tackle plus playstyles. You also have anticipate on this card. But when you go to the work rates, you see the problem. High low work rates five star five star is crazy that's awesome 97 pace is great as well the card itself looks very good and he always is good in game but i think for the low work rates a lot of people that were looking to use this card as a right back are really put off from doing this sbc this card would be maybe best suited as like a stay back right mid maybe a right wing back to get forward a bit definitely going to be good with the attacking and the crossing right if you want somebody to just deliver balls in the box this is your guy. He's always cracked in game. Again, I'll say it. But 513k for this card, I think, is a bit expensive. If it was like it is on PC, because, guys, PC fodder prices are so low, it's ridiculous. Look at the price difference here between Quadrado on PlayStation, Xbox, and then PC. 368k versus 513,000 coins. Like, for 500k, it just doesn't seem to be worth it. If it was more like 300k, like maybe it is on PC, um, then it could be a little bit more worth it. But it's the number of squads, right? What is it? Five? squads and those higher rated ones in there again the 287s and the 88s a little bit too steep for me for the card that it is they could have made it just a little bit better i think but i think also um i don't know still 55 is pretty cracked so it's up to you if you want to go ahead and get that one done um the footbin approval rating is 38 percent and i think the price is a big part of that now other SBCs that we had yesterday, you just saw them there on the screen, right? And I'm sure that some of you have already started to complete them. The player picks are back. 81 plus player pick, right? We keep flipping between the 80 plus and the 81 plus. Is this worth doing is the question. Or should you be doing the 80 plus times three? This is the dilemma that I'm stuck in right now. Or even the crafting upgrade. I'm Guys, I'm not really doing the crafting upgrade because I know personally I'm not going to be able to get through three quarters of that crafting SBC. So what I'm going to do is just stick to the player picks and stick to the 80 plus. I'll do the crafting if I uh, if nothing else comes out great like next week, but I doubt that nothing comes out great during the second week of foot birthday. So I'm just right now between the 80 plus triple and the 81 pick. I mean, they're both decent. I don't like that you have to turn in so many non-rares compared to the 80 plus player pick that just went away. Um, I don't know, man. I still feel like I get more walkouts and more 85s and 6s and 7s and above from the 81 plus pick than I do the 80 plus triple. So that's just me. But again, do whichever one fits you the best. I do feel like right now with the crafting on this game, with the 85 plus player pick that came out yesterday as well, Let's add this in there really quick too. We had yet again uh, another upgrade pack released. Uh, the two, I think it's two times per day. Um, I don't know if it's three times per day. I think it was just two that I was able to do this. The 85 plus player pick refreshes every day. It's an 84 squad, so that's pretty easy. Um, but I feel like with the crafting right now in the menus, 
it's our upgrade pack SBC, this 82 times 20 that's kind of letting me down. I think the 83 times 10 gave me more of those 83, 84s and 85s, just like, you know, on average from this pack. And from this 82 times 20, I'm finding myself with a club that is just absolutely stocked full of 83s and 82s. But when you go and look for 84s, they're just, look at my club. I go 89 VBD, 85 Walsh, and then I'm straight into 83s, which I have a bunch of. And then I go into 82s, and I feel like when the 83 times 10 was out, you took all those 82s out of the equation, um, and you were able to do more SBCs because you know an 84 rated squad is a lot more common than an 82 or 83 rated squad even. So I don't know. That's just something I'm noticing a little bit from the menu craft right now is that your gold commons don't go as far, and also you're just not getting as much fodder back. But the 82 times 20 is repeatable three times per day now instead of just two. And I'm going to open one right now just for the lads. Can we get a foot birthday? We can. Let's go. Who's this going to be? German left wing back. German left wing back. Um, yes, of course. Goosens. Is it a double walkout? It is not. It is Goosens, block plus, and incisive pass plus. But let's see. What else do we get in this pack? Some high rated, please. 285s. I did get a handful of 84s. EA was asking, or they were listening to what I was asking to there. But then look, I've got so many duplicates. I don't know if it's anything like you guys, but I get so many dupes. And then for these 82s, I'm not entirely sure where to put them. But I guess it's a good problem to have. Is that worth the 85s and 86s I had to turn in to get that done? I don't know. 8310 is definitely clear um, for the requirements, but the 8220 is not bad. It's there, and you can get some good pulls from it. So, I don't know. The menu craft is good. It's maybe just not as crazy as it was last week, but it does make some fodder move. We're going to talk about fodder a little bit later in the video. Last SBC that we had yesterday was, of course, one that we can't skip over. The UEFA marquee matchups giving a mega pack. Kind of a sleeper tradable pack here, but it really didn't move the market that much, which I was slightly surprised to see and we'll talk more about that later too and guys yesterday as well ea did confirm they fixed the daily objective that was not refreshing the daily play and they have extended it uh, a couple of days it's out for like seven more days i think beyond today so that is nice we'll be all be able to get that done still and it is now working so that is nice to actually see that functioning as properly in game now let's talk about what just happened literally like minutes ago guys we had showdown upgrades Felix is a 91 rated card and wow, what an item. I just started using this card a couple of uh, hours ago. Five star skills, four star week, of, of course, for the Chihuahua Felix. Actually, I want to go to foot.gg really fast and see what the upgrade was on this Felix card. He got plus two pace, two shooting, two passing, three dribbling, two defense, and two physical. So plus three dribbling from 91 to 94. That's going to make his technical dribbling stat even better. Wow, what a card that is. Now, if you go ahead and put that into the Evo, he's going to be 92 rated, which is very tempting to get a 92 rated Joao Felix. Um, I'm going to have to use this card a little bit more but, um, before I decide between him and Akanji, I think. Uh, for my club personally. Also, I didn't pack Benzema. I bought him. He's a little bit down from where I bought him, but this card is really, really fun. He's so good with finesse and the aerial plus and the five skills. But wow, that Felix is finally upgraded, man, which is so, so nice to see. Now, of course, they did drop the other upgrades as well. Bastoni is a 90 rated card. He got the plus one. They didn't give him 90 physical, but he's got 82 passing defense and 84 pace. And then they did also upgrade Marius Wolf. Um, he actually looks pretty decent. If, you, if you're if you a Dortmund fan, that card could go into the Evo for you and be pretty saucy as well. So, I mean, the Felix card, though, is definitely the one that most people are excited about, and that's the one that you're going to be seeing for a long time on this game after Barcelona's performance over the weekend. That is actually pretty crazy. So that is out, and hopefully, guys, well, it is tomorrow. It's not even hopefully. It is going to happen. That Rolfo upgrade will happen tomorrow, and that's going to create a huge, huge... I guess a uh, change in people's, not even a change. Everybody's using Rolfo and, and probably now Felix already, but that Rolfo upgrade is going to be massive. So we'll be, we'll be talking about that and looking forward to that tomorrow, but that's when that will take place. Now, let's talk about the market because it's all over the place. I've been making some coins, but also coins are being lost on so many different cards. It's been four days now, guys, that we've had this ultimate birthday promo and since it started, right? And we're in a good so spot to see over these last four days how this promo has really impacted the market because it's no secret the market has crashed 
hard. It has crashed like crazy. Let me just show you a few examples of cars that maybe you knew about, but maybe you didn't know about. All right, can I just show you? Um, let's look at Doku. Doku is 850,000 coins from future stars. A lot of the cards that are being hurt on this market right now are promos that happened either right before, during, or after team of the year. That's kind of the time frame, right? The market's gone up a lot since team of the year. This car, Doku, um, before, basically a week ago, a little before Foot Birthday started, was 1.6 million coins, between 1.5 and 1.6. And when Foot Birthday started on Friday, he was 1.2. He was already dropping because we knew it was Foot Birthday. It was going to be sick, right? He's 800K. He has halved in price in a week and a half on this game. Check out in Kunku Winter Wild Cards. He has gone from 600,000 coins to 97K. Now, of course, it helps that EA re-released this card. And some of the price drops, of course, have been impacted by EA re-releasing some of these cards in like the five-star best of Team 1, or maybe they were re-released last week in the best of uh, rivalry re-released during the showdown promo. So a lot of these prices are down because of that too. But like Doku, he wasn't released in packs. He's down just because of natural um, panic selling and people selling the card to get new stuff. And take a look at Mbappe. Mbappe last Sunday was 1.7 million. He's 1.2. He was even 1.1 million, 1.17 yesterday. He's up a little bit now. That's a crazy drop for like the only gold card in this game that still maintains value. And it's still a very, very meta Mbappe. Of course, any version of him is going to be meta. But look at that drop off, right? Foot Birthday has literally destroyed the market. It is finished. That was the stream title yesterday. This market is chalk. This market is finished, man, because that's how it feels. If you own something pre-Foot Birthday, it's probably down bad in value. I mean, we mentioned this though, guys. We knew that it was going to happen because you know, a couple things led to this, right? The team of the year, post team of the year market was just crazy, crazy inflated. We knew that the prices of some of these cards just, they couldn't last for forever. Not because they were really expensive, but just because we knew there was stuff that was coming and they had been so inflated and they had been rising up for so long. That's why like last week and even two weeks ago, I mentioned to you guys like, hey, it is probably a good time to start selling off on a lot of cards. And if any of you guys heated with those warnings, and, and kind of followed with those, man, you saved yourself a lot of heartbreak. And that's half the battle with this game, right? With the coins being as important as they are, if you have millions and millions, or even just a couple hundred thousand coins in value in your team of players that you're using, timing the buys and the sells and just putting a little bit of extra effort in can save you so much time and pain on this game when the market does stuff like this. Holland Team of the Year, 12 million coins last Sunday. That was kind of the peak as we're looking at these graphs. You can see it was kind of just a few days before Ultimate Birthday was coming out. The Showdown Series promo was going. We kind of knew that Ultimate Birthday was coming, right? 12.7 million was the peak for Holland. And now he is 8.3. Like that is a 4.4 million coin drop off in just eight days. That is crazy. That is absolutely crazy, man. Um, a lot of the team of the years have been impacted by this. Rodri was above three mil. Um, Teo is below... He was below four, I think, maybe for a moment yesterday, or maybe that was a snipe. Frimpong is three million coins as well. Allison is down. Messi is down. De Bruyne is down. The women's team of the year cards are down bad. And so many other cards too, like Road to the Finals, even though they're alive. Future Stars, even the ones that haven't been re-released in packs. Future Stars icons are down a lot as well. Fantasy cards, of course. You've seen fantasy cards get destroyed, even as they have maybe not satisfied their upgrade requirements, even ones that have Declan Rice and Arsenal, they've been flying and his upgrades have been, you know, he's been getting upgraded a lot and he's been hitting those thresholds. He's gone from 3 million coins to 2 million. Crazy. In this market right now, there is just so much panic and so many prices dropping because of all the content that we got. And that's the next question. Why is the market crashing? Well, let's break it down. We talked about it a little bit. It's because these new ultimate birthday cards... I know we keep calling it foot birthday, but it's foot birthday, ultimate birthday, same thing, right? These cards are big name players and they're boosted like crazy. Big stat upgrades, of course, double play styles on all of them, finally. And we have five star skills or five star weak foot. And on some of the cards, we've got both. Why wouldn't you, as somebody who maybe had a Holland team of the year or maybe a couple team of the year cards, sell one or two of those to want to go out and try a Hyun Min Sun or try out maybe the Thierry Henry 8 million coin icon card, right? If you think about on that kind of level, but even on the low lower tier level of this game like why wouldn't you want to sell somebody like I don't know a four or five hundred thousand coin midfielder card that you had to go try out the Barella that you did to link to your Bastoni SBC sort of thing too right all the cards that have been released have been pretty crazy not to mention the SBCs we have end game SBC players like the Roberto Carlos 
uh, icon SBC, right? That so many people are going to be crafting. We talked about team of the year Karchawi going down because of this. It's just the fact that we're getting big SBCs that are craftable, big cards and packs that are pretty expensive as well that people want to try, and evolutions guys i know you're like nate nah man evolutions doesn't crash the market guys it does it does especially when they drop crazy evos that are all a hundred thousand coins or even two hundred thousand coins to complete like that's 400k that's six hundred thousand coins right there with just those four evos at uh yeah that's six hundred thousand coins with the brand new evos apart from weak foot peak and birthday magic it's really made the market drop a lot and the last thing i'm going to throw out there guys and talk about is too i can't go to the store because i'm in the unassigned now since i opened that 8220 but guys i can't even begin to tell you how many people have messaged me in the past couple of days saying nate i spent all of my coins or i spent x number of coins which was a large portion of the amount that i had going to the store and opening all these crazy packs like the guaranteed ultimate birthday icon guaranteed ultimate birthday all of those sorts of packs that people have been opening with coins to get untradeable players. Anytime you put in coins to an SBC or buy a card to put an SBC or buy a store pack to turn into an untradeable cards that you get in the pack, you're basically devaluing your account and you're devaluing the market. And that is why prices have just gone down so much. It's the supply and demand. And the uh, demand you could technically say is lessening for a lot of these cards because there are less coins on the market to go around as people are putting them and draining them and making them disappear, basically, is how it goes. When you turn tradable coins into untradable cards, they disappear, those coins do. So that's why the market is down so, so much. Now, the real question is, is it going to come back? And here's an example of that exact same team of the year Holland card last year. This sort of thing happened last year, too. It actually wasn't as drastic. It still was. Like, he went from 4.3 million coins. Foot birthday happened down, 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 down. He dropped all the way until team of the season before he had a little bit of a bump because the new team of the season Holland card was crazy expensive, and it was like 7 million or 5 million, I think, the first weekend. So this one jumped right back up in price, but then just kept going down throughout the summer. We are entering the part of the year where the market just does this. It just goes down in price almost the whole entire uh, rest of the year, guys. The post team of the year market rise last year happened like it did this year. And uh, then after that, it was just downward trending from there. Now, we've had such a pretty drastic drop off on some of these cards, and these team of the years are still very, very meta and very, very rare. I do feel like there could be a few fluctuations here or there. But here's the, in the grand scheme of things, something to think about. We are only about probably a month away from the start of that big promo team of the season like it's not that far away guys we have a second week of a birthday something to fill in the gaps between now and team of the season and we're looking at mid maybe late april but maybe mid april this year with of course the euros and everything going on this summer like that hype's going to start to build soon too so team of the season is not that far away i would just say if you bought team of the year cards you made a bunch of profit you sold it's now just a time to be careful. Sure, enjoy cards that you want to enjoy. Go buy the Thierry Henry if you've got the coins. Get a Vandersar for your team. He should be somewhat stable in value from like the birthday team, right? Those cards should do okay because they're kind of like the new meta standard and stuff like that. But still for like the old out-of-pack special cards, I would just be careful because so many of them, while they might kind of stay steady-ish in price, They've had so many big drops already. There's kind of there's kind of no recovering. Doku's not going to go back to 1.4 million coins. Could he go back to like 950k? Maybe touch a million? Maybe. Just because he's rare, right? And these top tier promo cards are very tough to pack from the most recent promos. But guys, it's probably not going to rebound that much. Now, a different part of the market, right? That's, that's the meta market. That's a lot of those cards. We are still watching full birthdays. I want to talk about that here in just a bit. Uh, but this part of the market, I think is kind of the opposite fodder is down bad like 91's 50k 90's 31k for Lavelle it's crazy how low fodder is and continues to be the 89's remember I invested right around here for like 27 28k they went up to like 32 and then they just came back down I think we're approaching a scenario where we might have another bit of a rise on the higher tier of fodder just like we did a couple weeks ago but I don't think we're going to see those going to like 50k at any point um soon just because of the way the game is set up now the amount of packs that they give out giving you the opportunity to pack these um and even the lightning rounds they're running in the store i know we have a lot more spcs like the carlos the socrates the coman we're getting spcs every day um so you know there could be a little bit of a rise on the fodder here but 
fodder is just like really low overall, except for the lower tier, right? 85s or 7K, they went up a lot yesterday after the 82 times 20 was repeatable. Once again, three times and people started investing. We even had lightning rounds yesterday. We even had that mega pack in the challenge SBC section and these cards still went up. I still think if you want to invest in fodder, I think there's money in it from the 87s to the 89s and even the 90s as well. Um, just, just be careful with it. I wouldn't expect a crazy rise. I don't I don't like that 84s, 5s, and 6s are already up so much, but they could go up more in the next couple of days because everybody wants those 8220s, right? To try to pack, try to craft, and all that. And you see how much they went up yesterday for that SBC. They could go up a little bit more. We will have to see. So if you want fodder, I think, especially if you want an 88 to a 90 rated card, um, I like the gold cards better than the specials. That's just me. Just because I think most people on the game, when they think of going and buying an 89 rated card to do an SBC, they don't go here and look. They think, okay, Casemiro, Ruben Diaz, Rodri, those guys, those are who I bought for SBCs all year long. So if I'm investing in fodder, I'm actually not buying Lavelle's for 32K. I'm buying Bon Matis and Lewandowski's on bid for like 36 if I can. You know what I'm saying? I think they won't do lightning rounds today, which they didn't last Tuesday. And I could see some fodder starting to trickle up in price, even starting today on Tuesday. So that's just kind of the fodder situation right now. I don't think there's big money in it. I just think there's... Maybe potential to have a little bit of an investment and see a little bit of a rise coming soon um, in the next week on this market. Come on, Jota. Keep rising, my guy. I listed you crazy high. Some of these cards, I'm still trading with the foot birthdays, man. Yesterday with the lightning rounds and with the mega pack, I was thinking they were going to drop. And some of them did a little bit, but a lot of them are still holding price very well. Um, some of them are down some again. But I think today on Tuesday, if you're wanting to buy a foot birthday card, um, might actually see some nice rises on those. Tuesdays have been the days where the market does pretty decent because that is the day where everybody gets their champs rewards. They go out and they buy cards for teams and stuff like that. And uh, usually you do see some prices rise. So I'm trying to spend this last 1.8 mil on some foot birthdays here. Uh, gonna watch this out. Alho, if I can get him for like 1.1, I would absolutely love that. He's super rare. Felix just got updated. I've been trading with um, Rodrigo a ton. Like this card I got on Snipe yesterday at 1 million. Um, I sold the other Rodrigo. Like these guys fluctuate like crazy and they're in demand. So they're good to trade with. Same thing with the icons for sure. And those could be going up a little bit today. Now let's talk about today on Tuesday. Last thing to end off the video, guys. I know we've gone market heavy in this video today and talked a lot about that sort of thing. How is this SBC going to impact the market? Today on Tuesday, Lois Openda Twin SBC, which we kind of know what that means. That's basically going to be two versions of Foot Birthday Openda. One's going to have five-star skills. The other one's going to have five-star weak foot. Hopefully, of course, the other would be four-star. So this um, road to the knockouts Openda from earlier on in the year is three-star, four-star. And he was actually really expensive at a couple of points. And he's very meta. 97 pace on an 88 rated card. I mean, I'm hoping that an Openda today, guys, they might give him 99 pace and it might actually be pretty hype. That's, that is what could make this SBC a big dub. Um, he's got finesse, rapid, quick step, and Trivella on this card. He's going to most likely have two playstyle pluses on the one that they put out today. So maybe keep an eye out on some of those Bundesliga links. Um, I don't know how much they're going to juice him like crazy, but you know, 99 pace would just look pretty nuts. And I think people, if he had 99 pace and like 88 shooting and 80 passing and maybe even 89 dribbling or something like even as decent physical, this could be a card that a lot of people want to go ahead and do. He's a very popular card just because of his pace. 2.2 million games played for this card. So he is definitely used and he's a pretty rare item and he's a big name as a, stri a striker in the Bundesliga playing for Leipzig. A lot of people have Orban. Orban's getting an upgrade this week. Um, so, you know, there's going to be hype there for that SBC today. I'm really curious, especially after seeing how they juiced up the Quadrado, how much they're going to juice up Openda today. So um, maybe be careful with some of your middle to middle tier strikers. We'll have to see how good Openda is, um, if he's going to impact the market a ton. I don't see this as an SBC today. It's going to make people go and panic sell all strikers. Um, you never know though. You never know what EA could do with this because he's got pace and pace is big on this game. And if he's going to have five-star skills or a five-star weak foot, it's going to be a card that a lot of people will want. So that one I'm looking forward to for sure. But then also we've got the refresh of all the other SBCs, the 85 pick, the 8220, um, Gamble Tuesdays. How can we forget about that, right? It's Gamble Tuesday today. The 87 plus winter wild cards versus team of the year honorable mentions going away. Um, will they take this to 88 plus? That would be cold. Uh, also, I would wonder 
if they would maybe add in future stars to this player pick. Is it too early for that is my question. Because we've got, what is it here? Winter Wild Cards versus an honorable mention. Those are like the promos that led up to Team of the Year. Um, maybe they drop... Maybe they drop Road to the Finals in this now. Road to the Final was after Team of the Year honorable mentions, but those are still live cards. But since more and more of them have been knocked out of the competition now, since we're furthering our way through it, maybe they'll actually put Road to the Finals in here and change it up or Future Stars because they kind of did that with the Icon pick, right? Maybe they'll do that for this today too. We'll have to see. That one could be good. And uh, maybe 84 rated squad, two 84 squads in an inform, man. If they keep requiring 84s, I'm going to be flat out of them. So that's one thing to watch out for today. Uh, Road to the finals, by the way, are good cards to trade with. They get rare. They fluctuate. So keep an eye on those. And we have games today. I invested in a Guru Re-10 and also a Lindsey Horan. And those games, both of those teams, and those clubs are actually playing today. Women's Chelsea and uh, the women's Lyon team. So selling the hype on those if you don't want to risk it. But that's a low price for Lukaku. And actually, I'm going to add that to my watch list so that I keep an eye on it. But I'm not going to buy it unless it looks crazy cheap. Because I want to buy this Araujo card with the coins that I have. Wow, 1.04. Yeah, we're going to keep an eye on that because that seems pretty cheap. But I'm going to go try to get some coins invested into a few more of these ultimate birthday cards and we'll see what ea surprises us with on a tuesday all the while being careful with our cards and our coins because of where the market is but hopefully that panic and the crashing is going to slow down a little bit today and maybe turn upwards a bit but not anything too crazy long term if you enjoy if you guys enjoyed the video today drop a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions comment down below maybe if you lost coins in a card actually don't do that because you don't want to rub it in if you lost coins in a card um drop down below the most coins you've made on a card since team of the year how about that i know some of you guys sold team of the years you made big bucks i want to hear that too that's more fun to talk about right or maybe your best profit or best pull from uh, ultimate birthday so far anyways guys subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'll see you in the twitch stream today that link's down below in the description it's been nathan accountant peace out